plastics are everywhere. This creates a lot of waste plastic that should be collected, sorted, and reused to minimize environmental damages as well as economic losses. But these processes are very difficult and expensive, so most plastic waste ends up being landfilled or leaked into the environment. Polymers are basically really small chains, and people have already figured out ways to break these chains down into smaller fragments. These can be used as a substitute for crude oil, this process also makes less desirable waste products like methane, which aren't very useful and contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. The mixture also contains very long fragments as well as shorter fragments, making it difficult to sort out the useful bits. When we looked at this problem, we imagined that we could take advantage of the weak chemical bonds at the ends of broken polymer chains, kind of like using the open links in the end of a chain. The key was to break the chain randomly, like had been done before, but this time with a twist. We did this in the presence of a bunch of the reactive chemical ethylene, as well as a catalyst. Under these conditions, ethylene reacts with the weak chemical bond at the chain end, splitting off one link at a time until the whole chain is reduced to links. These can later be turned back into brand new plastic. So what does this look like in practice? All we have to do is combine some waste plastic, along with our catalysts, and then seal it inside of a high pressure reactor. We can then add ethylene to this reaction as a gas. We can then heat it and stir for about an hour and a half. And then when we analyze the gas left in the reactor after the fact, we see that some of the ethylene has been converted to propylene, the link I mentioned earlier. We can then dismantle the reactor and see that there is no plastic left in the beaker, indicating that almost all of it reacted. So, what we've discovered is a way to convert some of the most common waste plastic into the raw materials which make more plastic without generating large amounts of greenhouse gases. We hope that this will enable the carbon in waste plastic to be reused over and over again so less carbon is pulled out of the ground and less is put into the air.